Punches, punches, punches up. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back to another video. Uh, which is warm welcome to everyone that's been chilling in. And to our new subscribers, welcome, guys. Welcome to Pogs HD. To our loyal fans, thank you guys for saying loyal to our channel. Uh, we do really appreciate it. Just want to make a formal announcement that we have had struggles, technical struggles with the channel, and we have taken up those issues to YouTube and now they have been sorted so we are back again we're back the ball is rolling on the court and we hope that in the future we won't have such hiccups so without more further to do just want to say that to our new subscribers welcome to the family guys we just do with batting we don't do with fake stuff so we post tickets in a, in a way that we allow um our, our our subscribers to change wherever and they wherever they feel like i don't trust this so let me just Put in my, my input as well so our tickets are not fixed we just trying our luck our memo and our mentor or our mo what am i saying <laughs> so what we strive to do is actually play on luck so we try again each and every time we fail and that's about it guys um <clears throat> we do win tickets we do lose tickets so just like any other day when you bet nothing is guaranteed so without more further to do guys we just want to say that thank you and today's ticket guys today's uh, strategy is based on a strategy that is was suggested by in the comment section that can you please do this we don't understand it and when i try um playing around with that so no man i actually can make a lot of money doing this it doesn't pay that much but it's a very lucrative strategy a strategy that can work for me and i can use it to keep my account afloat by afloat i mean that i can use it to keep my account and not blow my account like when i say blow my account i mean well by every now and then you have to buy out vouchers and stuff like that so i don't normally buy vouchers the last time i bought a voucher was in june that was the last time I bought a voucher. So the first 10 minutes strategy, I use it to keep my account afloat. And I think this one as well is going to be a perfect strategy to keep my account afloat. And also when I have enough money, I just take up high and I chow all the money I get. All the money I get, I chow, guys. So without more further to do, guys, let me just quickly explain the strategy to you. The name of the strategy is a no sending off. So... In layman's terms, to guys that do not really understand football, especially the ladies, uh, shout out to all the ladies, all the Box HD fans. So, a no sending off, it means, guys, um, in a game of 90 minutes plus at a time, you are simply saying that no player will receive a, a red card. So, a player receives a red card when they've gotten two uh, yellow card cushions, and then after that, they will get... Um, a red card but however there is an exception whereby where the act committed by the player or the foul committed by the player was so excruciating or was so severe in, in such a way that it doesn't warrant warning so in that sense a player will get a red card and also goalkeepers are mostly subjected to red cards the fouls they commit because it is a play or in foul not allowing the other side to score right so the, the the degree of foul committed by goalkeepers in most cases only uh, amounts to a record so in simple terms it's just saying that when you're saying no sending off you're simply saying that in this particular game there won't be a record so you must be very uh, cautious in the type of games that you pick for this strategy Games like your Man City and Watford, you can't say because you know that Man City is going to dominate on possession. And then when Man City dominates on possession, Man City is not a, a, a team that has many skillful players that are going to try and take on players. So they're just focusing on rotating the ball and getting the ball onto the net. So, but with players, with games for with games like uh, your PSG, whereby um 65 percent of the time neymar is always dribbling players mbappe is always taking on players you have messi as well taking on players so fouls are bound to be committed in that particular game and then also games such as your finals or semi-finals 
those games are bound to be competitive and players are bound to commit a lot of fouls and in that sense you are gonna get more red cards so be mindful of that when you're choosing a strategy so what kind of a game am i looking at am i looking at a chill game am i looking at a game that's gonna be dominated by one side am i looking at a game that's gonna be dominated by both fronts so in the premier leagues there are a lot of red cards in the premier leagues uh and also in C at zero uh, and also at league one there are a lot of red cards in that league so pay attention to that but in leagues such as your bundesliga there aren't a lot of red cards but yellow cards and in a league like uh, la liga as well and also the portuguese premier league there are not a lot of red cards in those games because the type of game uh, momentum that is um, played as a game whereby it's focusing on scoring more games more goals rotating the football and players they, they don't have that kind of mentality but it's never an exception that there will be a red card in the game and a, a red card can occur at any time so i'll say that when you want to infuse this strategy just infuse it with a first 10 minutes throw first 10 minutes throw can still does exist I've been seeing a lot of comments of people saying that but this option it does no longer exist no it is with particular games whereby they see that since we made a video since i made a video on this uh obviously bookings with the statistics they see that majority of people have been looking at this option and then they are picking on it and we are losing money as a result of them because the main the main target of bookers guys is to make money so if there's something that guarantees the better us as their customers making money they're going to try and limit that option of which is something they do with leagues that are not competitive they limit the option of first 10 minutes because they can see that here we're not going to make money so be mindful of that that you are going to get it with some games and you are not going to get it with uh with some other games because the intention of the bookers will always be to make money but to say the option does no longer exist as absolute false and i'm just going to show you a ticket that i have just made um of how you can infuse the first 10 minute no sending off with the first 10 minutes draw oh before we get before we get to the ticket guys this is a typical example of what i was saying that the first 10 minutes draw um it still exists and as you can see that i won this particular ticket it does still exist and you guys can try it man um if you don't see just try with other games the option does exist i do still explore the options i that's the one option i make sure that i keep my my my, my account to float that's the one option that always makes me money so this is how you can infuse or this is how you can infuse the two strategies the the no sending off and first 10 minutes so as you can see they this game here barcelona versus real parties you know this game is going to be very competitive uh both teams they want to stay at the top they're competing for the champions league barcelona is not having a great season uh but they are really trying so you can expect this game to be very competitive so the odds are, are going to be very good they these odds are not quite high but for the nature of 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 of, of this strategy they are high for the considering the nature of the strategy that it is likely that this game won't have a red card right so a games like uh, also roma and inter milan you know that it's going to be very competitive pace pace wise in terms of goals it's going to be very competitive and then also a game like borussia Dortmund and Bayern munich it's a game i will expect to be very competitive but the games or the history of Bayern munich versus borussia Dortmund doesn't have a lot of red cards so the bookers also they take into account these such factors that when you look previously at the air of the, of the meetings between Dortmund and Bayern were there many red cards no it's a game that focuses on scoring goals so for me I wouldn't pick first 10 minutes throw for Bayern Munich and, and, and Dortmund because you know Lewandowski and 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 Haaland they're always their eyes are always at the back of the net and they tend to score very early right so this option it's a game whereby i'll say no for Bayern Munich. let me just say no sending off there won't be a draw 
Then a game like Atalanta and Napoli, you also know that these two teams are very defensive minded. So if they're defensive minded, it means that they're going to try the first 10 minutes to maintain the game. But our focus is not on the first 10 minutes draw. Just want to show you how you infuse the two strategies that it's, there won't be a sending off. Right? And then also, as you can see, the game for Liverpool and Wolves. You, we also know, guys, that the two teams, they almost have the same footballing philosophy and their players, majority of their players, they don't believe in physicality that much. They just believe in fair marking, rotating the ball, scoring holds. So the bookers are also aware of that. That's why the odds are this low right so <clears throat> this strategy guys is a great strategy to infuse it with the first 10 minutes throw and it's gonna keep on making you money it's gonna keep on making you money let's try again guys let's remain positive and i'll post the video the next video i'll post it is very interesting guys a friend has approached me and said man i have this problem i can you please address it i've lost a lot of money and I believe that this information is very important to your fans as well, since you have a channel. Um, so stay on tune, guys. The next video that I'm going to post is very interesting. Very, very, very interesting.